Okay, so I just got this stick right here. This uh, I pega whatever the fuck this is. Uh, what is this? Let me see if I can get the box up here. Whatever this is, it was like twenty bucks on Amazon. I got a full size fight stick, right? But I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have something I could take on the go? You know, just doesn't have to be the best thing. The one I have is um the Mayflash. Yeah, I, I know I'm cheap, right? This one right here. This thing is awesome. Love it. But you know, it's harder to be like, I'm gonna put this in the car, take this with me. So these buttons, they don't feel too bad. They get the job done. You know, they're, they're not the same as actual like Samba buttons or anything, but I feel like they'd be okay. Do tags. It actually shows the inputs down there. I had to change the uh, the buttons in the um, in-game menu, but like the stick overall, besides the size, like look at this. Like in the freaking video or the pictures that it has, the stick looks huge. This is like enough to kind of get by if I just want to practice, I guess. But um, that's the only like one of the complaints I have is like I wish this was wider. It's cool that it docks in and it, you know the switch isn't moving. It seems like it's pretty stable too. Um, like it's not the heaviest thing in the world, but I don't have to worry about it like falling backwards. But the one complaint I have is, for one, I don't know why, but the stick just feels like it's a little bit like loose. It doesn't click. So this would probably be great for like a grappler, but like if you're playing any other style character, like I'm so used to the square gates that this feels a little bit off. And also tell like I can't get a super jump in. Maybe that is it. I just haven't played this in a while. It's also possible. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's see if I can do anything with this. Still picking this up. Cool, cool, cool. Like, I'm pretty happy I can consistently get the supers off. Because the buttons feel a little bit like... Or it's not the buttons, it's the stick. That stuff kind of feels weird. Okay, so, I don't know, I think this is okay for what it is, for the price, but you got the regular buttons right here, you got your menu buttons and stuff right here, you can actually access your home, you can also use your uh, controls on the switch. If you want to activate this thing, you're going to have to go into the system settings, because this is something I saw you were complaining about on Amazon. And there's a spot here in the menu, uh, controllers and sensors, and you want to allow pro controller wired communication. I think if this is turned off, it doesn't do anything. Like, this won't work, because it's not Bluetooth, it's hooked up directly. Um, I don't really have a ton of fighting games to test this with. That I'm like, pretty good at, like I've got Dragon Ball on here, but I'm terrible at Dragon Ball. I just tried out Street Fighter. Um, where the hell is Dragon Ball? I'm pretty sure I have it installed, right? There it is, Dragon Ball Fighters, Mortal Kombat, another game I'm terrible at. Um, let's go on Street Fighter because Zangief is in there. Let's see if I can do a spinning pile driver because I have a theory where this stick, because of the way that it is, would be great for that. Like, listen to that. There's no, there's no clicks. There's no clickies. But um, again, for like the twenty bucks I paid for this, I'm pretty. I think I'm happy. I don't know. I'll find out in like a week when this thing breaks. Oh, another thing is, uh, so when you get it, it comes in this little package thing right here. 
It's just a case just to slot it in, I guess, so it doesn't slide around. Now, when I went to pull it out, it was in there pretty tight. First thing that happens is this damn stick falls off. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. The good thing is, is that it just kind of snapped back on there, but still, I guess that's kind of concerning, isn't it? Um, about, about Alpha 3. I don't really have a favorite stage in Alpha 3. Honestly, like, I loved Alpha 2, not the biggest fan of Alpha 3, even though I know some people, like, this is their favorite one. Um, let's see how this goes. This is actually my first time loading up Alpha 3 on here, too. Like, I pretty much only played the Street Fighter 2 versions. <laughs> and uh, I loaded up Third Strike before. So we're gonna go in here, because the controls are all weird. And we will set all the buttons up. Everything should be fine besides that. Let's just start, right? Okay, so the buttons are set up just like they are in the Switch, but that means that sometimes, I guess, when you play certain games, specifically the L and R, I think this is mapped to maybe these two. There's something weird about these two where they're not mapped correctly. All right, so let's see. Can't do it. I can't even, I don't feel like I'm getting the full rotation down because I got a 720. Like on my other stick that's under the desk, I could definitely do a standing spinning pile driver, but I can't seem to do it here. I'll take that. It's just that fucking range of motion just feels so weird. Like the stick just feels like it's there's so much space. Maybe it's a wide dead zone. It's probably the best way to put it. Weird. So that's probably the only way I'll be able to do that on here. Maybe if I practice for a while, I don't know. But even the classic like jump and then do it. It seems like it's a little bit weird. At 720 is nothing though. Uh, something I found weird about this, speaking of which, we'll go to the change character, is because of the range of motion, like the spinning pile driver should be the easiest thing to do because this thing is weird. Like it's, the dead zone just feels like it's so loose. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's like an issue right now, but I guess because I'm rotating it like, and it's not moving. It's a little bit too much range there. To me. It's doable. Like I said, 20 bucks, like, you know, could be a lot worse. So... Sure, you can felt really strange on here. I guess because when I usually do them, what I usually do is I'll release the stick, like snap it back, and like, when I do that here, it feels like the stick is still kind of like in the position. I don't even remember what his supers are in this game, isn't it? Uh, I thought he had the weird kick one. Like this. Uh, I have to kind of release the stick in order to get that to come out. There should be an option to do training option. Let's go in and set this to not the health meter. I need the super meter to be infinite. Thank you. What's kind of a bummer is I do wish that this game, uh, not the game, the, uh, the stick, like I could hook it up to my computer just to test some stuff. Cause this is, this is dumb, but I do like, I like the form factor of this. I like the fact that it's so tiny, you know? Two button throws. I used to think that was the funniest thing in the world, the, the whip grab animation. Oh 
my goodness. You're just doing... There we go. There's another example of that weird dead zone where, like, I'm trying to, like, say if I'm trying to jump up. A lot of times if I play, you know, on my other sticks, if you just kind of go up a little bit, it does it. But, like, here, you need to actually be in those diagonals for it to work. So again, for the price, can't really complain too much, right? All right, well, that's that. I give this thing a thumbs up again for the price. If it, if it, mm, hmm, if this starts going close to forty bucks, I don't think it's worth it. If it's like in the twenty dollar price range, maybe twenty five, sure. The lower, the better, obviously. I feel like I got a deal on this. It was like 17 something when I bought it, but usually it goes for about $25, I think. So worth it. If you're looking for, you know, just a quick test stick. All right. See you later. Peace.